We um, are the main pie suppliers for uh, Marks and Spencers. Um, but the Marks and Spencers and in system is all based on BOC trays. Now, our link conveyor was not capable of taking the BOC trays. So we needed a system put in that could handle basically the BOC trays as well as our normal cardboard cartons. Our old system didn't have any um, accumulation. It was just a series of conveyors. So once one bit stopped, everything stopped. So the idea was to replace it with the new equipment so that they could get a higher th flow of product through the area and handle the trays. That, that was the main drive, to take it all out and handle the trays. You just see above me the empty tote delivery conveyor. That was put in to deliver empty totes down to the packers. They pack into the totes and then they come out and back up through the tunnel. It's always a major challenge working around our production because uh, we do not shut down, we run 24-7 but also the routing of the conveyor was quite torturous. It was in a tunnel that was purpose-built around the bakery into the warehouse. And it's up, down, you're only talking two metres wide, less than that in some places. So they had to design the conveyor really to fit around that contour. So we're talking like 120, 130 metres long. There was an existing conveyor in here that was removed and it was a traditional belt conveyor. So it got great big motor drive units on it, running all the time and never stop. So we've replaced this with this ZLP, Zero Line Pressure. So the idea of this is that as a box comes, the rollers start up. When the box goes, the rollers stop. So first of all, there's a massive environmental impact there for the customer. The electricity bill drops through the floor. You can run the rollers off a very small amount of power. And the second thing is, from a wear and tear point of view, they're not always running. So you can see at the moment where production stopped for some reason, the whole thing goes to sleep. So that was the design of the conveyor. Plus we gave the customer a lot of accumulation for products because when, as we move through the system, you'll see at the end of there, there's a carousel. And when the carousel gets busy, the old system, it would all stop, build back and stop the production hall. This will accumulate with no pressure, hence zero line pressure. So you'll see product coming out the tunnel, accumulating along the overhead section here and then running down to this decline so we even accumulate on a decline roller conveyor, which is quite unique. The rollers are rubber coated. Accumulation is key at this point because the carousel can get really, really busy. So we mustn't stop the packing hall. So we decline down and then we approach a merge down there, which is merging product from recirculation. So as the guys are taking stuff off the front of the carousel, if they can't get it done in time, we recirculate. It does exactly what we intended it to do. It's you know, able to manage everything we throw at it. The system just runs. Um, I know some of the operators have said before that with the increased business that we have had recently, then the old system would never have handled that and it would have been, uh, been a nightmare for us, really. This is the system. It was installed in a very short space of time, three weeks. Um, the board of directors were really keen to make sure that happened because they didn't interfere with their production schedules. It was installed just before peak as well, so it was extra critical that it was up and running. So we, we hit the delivery window, we hit the cost windows, and since we've installed it and left site, it's been up and running perfectly, and we haven't had any downtime that we're aware of. So I'm guessing there's a pretty happy customer. <laughs>